Hello everybody, this video is for everyone who likes when some guy with flip-flops on his feet is uh, restoring some metal things, metal rusty things into new shiny one, like my axe. Can you see it? It looks like mirror or... For the handle for my future axe I choose acacia wood uh, and what is important, I choose a piece of wood with parallel fibers. Hmm. Let's say it once again. Parallel. 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 Grain. Or fibers. I don't know how it is called in English. Anyway, I took that wood because it is very dense and hard wood. Not very easy to carve, but very good and durable for an axe handle. So I draw a shape of my handle and then I've tried to cut it but I don't have a good uh, tool for that and I'm using this, this thing, I don't know how it is called in English. Anyway, as you can see this tool uh, wasn't very good for the work because it uh, has problems with working with so thick and dense wood and this is a result pretty awful. So I have to spend a lot of time working with my grinder and the sandpaper to make it smoother. But at the end my handle was pretty good looking and it fits perfectly into my hand. So I was very happy with the results. I decided to carve my axe and it was a good idea and a bad idea. A good idea because the handle looks cool with the carvings. And I have more grip when I'm uh, holding my axe, but it was also a bad idea because when I'm working with my axe now without the gloves, uh, the handle after some time starts hurting my skin. So it is a good idea if you are working with the gloves. Now it's time for the blade. I had one, very rusty and not very sharp but it was made from fine steel, so I decided to restore it instead of buying new one. Um, first, I have used a sandpaper and took all of the rust and, and the bumps, but uh, I was very, very careful to not overheat the blade, because overheated blades can lose the temper. I was using the sandpapers from 100 grits, up to 3000 grits and this is because I wanted to make a mirror from my uh, blade and I achieved that what uh, you will see at the end of the video now I'm making the space for the wooden wedge which will then make very tight connection between my handle and the blade and at last the final step, staining the handle. I'm using the stain base on oil, but this is not an oil paint. This is a typical stain for the wood. And this is because uh, it is very easy to apply. And that would be all. As I said, very easy project. Mm. Now the time for a most satisfying part of the work, presenting the final results.